building, looking at ideas, what does lockdown mean to me, what is reportage art, what is visual language of drawing on location, effect of my project and what it is I want to convey. Uh, looked at facial expressions with an emphasis on distorting certain features to portray emotions such as fear, anguish and laughter, including Picasso as an example. Portrayed objects related to lockdown with an emphasis on hygiene. Started writing down artists and research for later. Uh, practice gestures capturing facial expressions while the person is in motion and reporting on location of life through a lens, doing what I've just said. Uh, I looked at different artists, their styles and how and what I want to, to convey into my work, the elements I want to take from theirs. I transcribed a piece of work uh, looking at directional lines to draw the eye and lead it through the image. I looked at sketches, what I love with emphasis on family and how I could report these ideas in my work. I started on the project, I looked at doll's houses, architectural drawings, comparing and, and contrasting details in the simplified sketches. I did some thumbnail sketches. Uh, and then I, I looked at doll's houses online, did some work in my, with my husband in the studio, building the outside of it, looking at health and safety and how to use the machinery and working with wood. Um, here's what went wrong, a bit about what went wrong with the wood and why it took a bit longer to do and the mistakes that I would change in the future. More design proportion elements. I began transcribing tools as one of my first subjects. Uh, looking at Jim Dine, the contrast and darks and softness of charcoal. Uh, more transcribing, dark contrast against light background using watercolour for a softer feel. Jim Dine again, playing with inks to give a harder look which lends itself well to tools. Looking at colour to bring the image forward. Sketching on location, husband shed capturing expressions while moving. I found this difficult and I needed to work very quickly. Also looked at hand expressions as well. Looked at hands as tools of the trade with emphasis on line, shape and form and using expressive lines to show movement. Continuous line sketching I found good for loosening up an observational sketch practice. Second of my subjects, visitors in the garden with an emphasis on drawing on black background to look at contrast between black and white, also expressions and adding a narrative to the image. Third subject, roses in my garden, a view through the bedroom window, observational sketches, composition, creating form and shapes and adding colour. I need to look at tonal value more as my work's quite flat. I could do this by using black and white photos to emphasise, which I do later in the journal. Um, and then I took the idea of roses further and explored textiles, looked at a couple of artists including Anne Small, created a bedspread for the house using ske stitched sketch fabric and layering, which is there, um, more location sketches uh, using observational practice life through a lens. Exercise given of portraits, which was my fourth subject. Practice creating an impression by using continuous line drawings. Looked at various artists, including free motion stitching and transcribed this image here. I looked at adding shadows in this one that I painted that was supposed to be myself. It's not very good because I didn't trace it. I'm not very good at capturing um, proportions. Um, so I need to work on that. So, and that was looking at creating depth and form. And then I looked at Tony Burt, mixed media artist. I looked at building up layers using different mediums to create pattern and texture and contrast drawing the eye. I explored an oil-based inks. They don't mix well with water. I wanted to create a loose impressionist painting. It looks like a clown because the lines are too thick. The ink came through the page. So I worked with it and added background to bring the image forward. The medium came through, not good on this cartridge paper. And I added a narrative on top of just the paper with a multimedia with a view to doing something later. I then did more through life through a lens but explored acrylics, creating expression and looking at work in print, positives and negatives of using acrylics um, and then using inks over acrylics to add greater expressive motion and facial expression. I used a short narrative to convey, don't like the background, don't like the stripes, too stripy, too much. Um, too many of them. I looked at stylization and folk art to create night scene, emphasis on simplification and contrasting colours. 
and then I illustrated the narrative in the newspaper emphasising the pandemic with use of a mask as a symbol. I explored colours by painting a self-portrait and looked at Matisse and pop art creating a stylized image of how I felt shit. Uh, and I did the same on this one, feeling better, using the theme of roses throughout. I looked at more expressive work through use of watercolour line and wash and building up maybe contrast and also depth. Um, I then compared and contrasted all of my work to that of other artists and to my to each other. Um, yeah, that's what I did for that. Um, and then I, my fifth subject was food, looking at creating depth using pastels and mixed media. It was an exercise we were asked to do. Um, it was more impressionistic. I then transcribed this work to look at exploring contrasting colours and I added a short narrative about cherries because I like cherries and I eat a lot of them, which is why I chose that subject. Sketching practice, observational sketches, looking at creating depth and shadow, continuous line drawing of um, for observational practice and then adding colour and expressive lines to create shapes and form. Created a poster portraying an expression of distaste at having to cook using narrative. Looked at creating form and depth in a cylinder observational sketch practice as well, which helped me look at the depth as well and shadows in there. More sketch practice looking at food and cooking, watercolour emphasis on loose impressionistic style and adding depth with colour and composition. Two artists combined, I overlay to create a movement um, around the kitchen throughout a time period of my husband cooking dinner. I don't like cooking, so he does it. Then I looked at Joe Munro and Veronica, Mol, Veronica Lawler and I emailed them both. I wanted to compare the artists and how they used line and mark making to create three dimensional forms and movement over a period of time. I then did a big one myself. I wanted to add colour to it. Look, I just wanted to add some more different contrast with colour. So I reworked it into the piece and used the narrative to add to the story um, to make it more reportage, as though I was reporting on him. I used tracing images to create a flip book to show motion and depth and shadow. I created a concertina book looking at tonal values as the light changed through the day, but I went the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter, it's all learning. I watched a video by this lady here called Sarah Stokes on that, and I created form with mixed media in a less is more sort of ghost-like way, uh, looking at this artist here who does that. Um, I did some comparing and contrasting of George Butler and Ben Sharn, um, looking at Butler's expressive approach with line and wash to Ben Sharn's dark, heavy atmosphere, which reminded me of my of what I'd already done, which I didn't realise till I looked afterwards. And then I did a little bit more on reportage art about what is reported to keep myself focused. I then looked to more artist research on Rosie James, a textile artist who uses free motion stitching and wrote a story about a lady uh, that she'd actually drawn whilst out, whilst outside, whilst out walking around. And then I explored that by um, doing the same with my husband but just writing the text on him and doing it on fabric. I then looked at stuff that makes me happy, which is, um, one of my, I think it's my sixth piece for piece for the journal. Um, adding narrative and colour, thinking about decorative effects, also observational practice of the above as well, and adding text to the images. Um, I created an image to look like my husband's worktop using a narrative to enhance the image. I also used materials from his worktop to add texture and emphasis like wood shavings. Um, thinking of my mother-in-law who has dementia and looking at old photos from the past, um, I got to thinking about vintage style work, so I created a vintage style book, vintage style paper with roses on top of it using a coffee, coffee stain to do that. I then looked at developing um, sketches using tracing paper with a view for, to do a view through the window and building up layers with the tracing paper so you can see through it because it's transparent. I then did an exercise we were given by Amy, um, staining paper and sketching over the top and looking at different mediums to create. I got really angry because I was really stressed and wrote, a, this is aggressive art, but I think that's quite a reportage art in itself. I then looked at black and white photography, um, creating mood, tonal value, contrast and timelessness. Also looked at emphasis on texture and abstract, creating a memory journal. There it is there, which I 
did a narrative to. Looked at creating a pattern that was light and airy and fun for the kitchen using the theme of food again. Looked at surface pattern design at Elizabeth Silver and used bespoke hand printing with fruit to create a continuous pattern which I turned into wallpaper for the doll's house. Reduced the pattern on a computer program. Um, this is stuff that went wrong in the doll's house, on the floor, in the kitchen. I looked at what went wrong um, and then corrected it here. Thumbnail sketches of the kitchen for building the kitchen and looked at images online of the kitchen. Also practice sketches there too as well as thumbnail. Um, thumbnails of kitchen again for ideas, different mediums including polymer clay which I used to make some of the plates etc. Soft furnishings I used from the patterns previously. Um, looked at the bathroom, ideas of water, related it to my walks on the beach, used sand to as emphasis for sea theme and created an image with a stamp patterning, did some thumbnail sketches for that as well and then here's all the bits I did for the vintage for Lorna's bedroom, I, I made a Zimmer frame and memories, all the words making up memories of her children's names as well and thumbnail sketches. I then created a nighttime mood for the bedroom. Um, which I wanted dark colours and quite moody and quite relaxing. I wrote a poem that relates to freedom as I used wallpaper from one of my images of praying and wrote the freedom of from, from lockdown in that. I, I wanted to create a soulful setting, used all my work in my journal to, on reportage art. This is in the lounge um, to reportage art around the walls to create kind of a social setting, texture here with different fabrics, thumbnail, a couple of thumbnail sketches and writing down ideas. Looked at what, what, what I looked at the outside, graffiti for the outside with emphasis on staying home and safe. Looked at painting on wood to create the shed and my husband going in where I attached an image of him in the free motion. Um, took lots of photos of different light in and outside of the house capturing shadows and depth through time moving throughout the day created cutouts from previous images took photos of the house in the garden to keep it within context of time and made a little uh, a little sort of not a very good book but i narrated it put a narration through it of people talking and then this was an exercise we had to do for amy looked at mark making in six different mediums which i did i also contacted various agencies which i have here including art galleries, magazines, dollhouse makers and social media feedback. Context of use for this project in all the above could also be used for the wallpaper in my junk journals um, which I could sell on Etsy in the digital form. I could also make kits of dollhouses. I don't want to do that but the idea is there and that is it. That's me.